Dopamine is a good medication to understand and to know because it's used commonly in ICUs, uh, critical care settings where patients need assistance with vasopressors. And dopamine is one of the ones that we generally will go to to try to help the patient with this. Now, we've talked about dobutamine and dopamine uh, a lot in the podcast. And the only reason we really do that is because they can get confusing to people, okay? They can oftentimes confuse these two medications. The one trick I'm going to tell you to try to keep these two apart is dobutamine has the B in it, goes with beta, dobutamine is a beta adrenergic, where dopamine is a vasopressor. So as a vasopressor, dopamine is used to improve blood pressure, cardiac output, and urine output, okay? And there's a couple different actions for this, okay? With smaller doses, we actually use really small doses of dopamine to help with renal vasodilation. But as we start to increase our doses, for example, from 2 to 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute, we're looking at cardiac stimulation by acting on beta-1 receptors. In doses greater than 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute, we're looking at a stimulation of alpha receptors leading to vasoconstriction and increased SVR, systemic vascular resistance. So at higher doses, we're using it for our vasopressive action. So therapeutic classes are inotropic and vasopressor with our pharmacologic class being an adrenergic, okay? So the things we're obviously going to be watching very closely in our patient who's taking dopamine, we're going to be watching all of our hemodynamics very closely, specifically our blood pressure, our heart rate. We're also going to be watching our EKG and our CVP and our pulmonary artery wedge pressures, if available. Okay, so if we have a central line, if we have a method of monitoring this, then we're going to be watching these, these uh, values very closely. You're going to want to be watching the patient's blood pressure very, very closely because we're going to titrate it as appropriate to reach our goal blood pressure. So what will generally happen is a physician will give you a goal systolic blood pressure, let's say keep systolic greater than 120 or whatever it is, and they'll say use dopamine to get that, and then there'll be tiered levels. So it might be dopamine, phenylephrine, epinephrine, and things like that, and you'll have a tier of these medications that you can use to get that, starting with, with the first one, second one, third one, and you'll work down that list until you can achieve your goal blood pressure. Now, patients might experience a lot of irritation at the site, okay? So, you want to monitor the IV. If the patient is coherent and awake, you monitor that IV site, see if they're having any sorts of irritation there. But dopamine is important to keep in mind, important to know, and just understand it's inotropic action, it's vasopressor action, and that based on the dose that we're giving our patient, we may have different actions. And This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to nrsng.com slash 50 meds. That's nrsng.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at nrsng.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.